I think that would be a major lesson from this whole conversation mm -hmm. that even if you lose something, you still have something. You still have something. You still have something. You still have it's something. Go for it. I was, I was going to say the other thing um, that I want you to think about is you were, when this happened, you were in a financial situation to make it the best of the rest of mm -hmm. her days. Yeah. Like you were in position to, to really do that. And that's something, you know, you, you took care of your mom at the end. Like mm -hmm. that's a really powerful thing. You got to take care of your mom at the end. Some people still broke as a joke and just watching things happen to the people who they love and can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm, I'm even more grateful for is it wasn't just the end. Yes, and it was, wasn't just the like end. we were able to do some really, really cool stuff and have really, really cool memories. And after that, believe it or not, we'll be we'll be like out somewhere, right? Anywhere I'm with Dre, and we'll be out somewhere. She'll be like, oh, no, no, let's take a picture, let's take a picture. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, but it's not, let's, let's take a picture, let's take a picture. I'm like, all right, I don't want to take no more pictures. Is this Dre or mom? Dre. <laughs> yes. Dre, oh my gosh. <laughs> but as I'm going through all my pictures, I understand now. So anytime like we're in the middle of something and I, all the food comes, I grab my fork and I'm about to dig and she said, well, let's take a picture. <laughs> it used to frustrate me. But now I remember these are all assets. These are all like, like things that I will, that will be able to serve me later. Right. Taking the picture. She understands that this moment will not last forever. We won't always have this moment. I get it now. I get it now. Is that you? Oh, that's me for sure. <laughs> the joy that says, when I'm starving and they tell me to wait, let's take a picture. Yeah, look at that. Reese. Hold on. Y'all see that. I'm sure y'all see that meme somewhere. But um, um, yeah. absolutely. Take but, a now, the next challenge I'm going to encourage you to do is. I'm sorry, real quick. This one isn't yours, right? Where's no, yours? Mine's right here. Okay, cool. I'll play them games. Because <laughs> you could have had it after that. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to challenge you to do is print the pictures out. Mm. Start with the pictures of your where? in a photo album. I got a iCloud. <laughs> so here's something oh that I'm coming to realize, right? Just like you, the pictures bring you some comfort. Yes. All right. So if something happens to you, mm -hmm. all of your memories are on your iCloud. The other thing is before the iCloud came, we had SD cards and, you know, other forms of large memory storage, popular options. When's the last time you looked at your pictures specifically on your SD card? Talking about your family vacations, your trips with your friends, your, all these things that True. you have saved on an SD card. And then I know like I have a few SD cards that no longer are, can work with today's technology. Like even the adapter can't adapt it. So print Dang. these photos out. Yo, you know what? I Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> I remember moments. At, like you, I go to my grandma's house and on the like coffee table, what do we find? Photo the album. Photo album. Yeah. And I remember these moments like around the holidays yes. where we crack open the photo, the photo album. album and everybody's sitting around and my grandma got stories and my aunt and my uncle and my mom, they got these stories about what happened in this particular picture. Mm -hmm. We're going to print that out. Print it out. So this We're year for Christmas... I am going through just starting with what I have on my phone for my family because I got SD cards oh, in storage. I got SD cards in storage that I have to figure out how to get these memories from. But I'm going to start right with the photos that I have with my, in my phone. And I'm gifting each of my family households, like my close family, that I'm gifting them photo albums. And we're all going to have our family photo album, all the same pictures. And I'm going to give them all these photo albums because... It's one Who thing to go it? through the. How do you do it? So you can print it off at like um, you can do it manually at like Walgreens and CVS. Like they still got photo shops. There got to be a service. There is a service where you can send, but you got to give them. You got to either upload all your stuff or you have to give them access. I mean, we can just hire somebody, a VA local or, or not even a VA. We can hire someone that says, hey, go through all these photos because I got a couple of photos that I don't want anybody going through <laughs> right there could be some sketch in the iCloud but um yeah no 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 I've been I've been saying it for like 
three years minimally, I'm going to print these photos off and gift it as photo app. But as we're sitting here and we're having this conversation, I'm like, it has to happen this year because if anything happens, this iCloud is my iCloud. The only person who has access to this is my daughter. She's the only person, right? Well, things happen and who knows if she will print it off. So after her, all these memories right here go away. Here's what we do. Okay. My entrepreneur brain is entrepreneur and I feel like we need to find a company that like almost tried to do that and they got the equipment and just like buy and buy them. that would be so lit. Imagine a place that you know of and maybe they have it, but like you can put together, like I have a folder, like I was putting together a folder of my mom in my phone, right? If I can send those pictures to a place and not only do they print them out, but they have like these little albums and they actually put the little joints together. That'd be yeah. a Now I don't know that anybody will actually put them in the album Our for you. Will. Our company. Okay. Social photos. Um, let me see. Let me buy it, buy it, buy it. Social, <laughs> social photos.com. <laughs> we don't have it yet, but anyway, no, but yeah. Um, and, and these photo albums, you will still go to somebody, a family reunion, and they bring in the photo albums out. And it's super dope, super cool. But your life deserves to be on pictures. Like, that's how we know so much about our history. That's how we know so much about our ancestors. It wasn't because their pictures were stored in the cloud. We got printed photos that we're able to see, touch, feel. And when you guys get them printed, get them printed on quality paper. Like mm. I recommend, you know, like Kodak's old paper, Fuji film paper, quality paper, not that cheap instant print stuff because you'll lose the quality of the image over time. Get it printed on, like invest some money in this. This is your life and it deserves to be documented and last like way beyond you. All right. What yeah, you got? So, uh... Shutterfly does it. They put it in a photo album too? Yeah. All right. Shout out to Shutterfly. What's good? Shout out to Shutterfly. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Uh, now nah, that's lit, man. Golly. Now you I, got something to be excited I'm about excited. working on. And it, it like really gives like meaning. You yeah. know what I mean? It, this is this feels like just having that that moment of I just remember sitting around with the kids and uh like we're just all there, like just so astonished at how uh, bad quality these are for that moment. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Like this picture's mm -hmm. old looking. Yeah. Right. Well, our pictures look old looking in twenty years. Yes. Yeah. But they're so HD right now. They're so lit right now, just like <laughs> right, right. Just like so they used think. to be. Yeah, but sure. you can also kind of guess. Like I know in my family, we do the same thing. And as small kids, you'd be like, here they go with these photo albums again. Mm. Don't nobody want to hear about these people I ain't never met in my life. Yo, right? I used to love it though. Me too. I did. I Especially did. Especially if you got one of those family members that's like got, always got a funny story oh, around something. Oh, my family always has funny stories. And you would look up and it's literally the difference between having conversation or no conversation at all. Like after eating or whatever, you'll find that y'all just spent three hours going through. And you can, in your mind, you can see these people and you can see the scene. But also there are sometimes because what my, what my family has done very well is always date the photos on the back. Like back in the day, we used to take pictures, get them printed like days later and you can write your dates on the back. But some, also with the printed ones, you get a gauge. If you forget when something happened, you can look at the quality of the print and say, oh, that had to be in the 70s. Yeah. We going to yep. do that? We going to do it. When are you going to have a little business? We can figure that out. We, we can, can figure, figure that out. out. Just market it mm -hmm. with emotion. Mm -hmm. You see the commercial? We can right now just encourage all these beautiful people to do it. Yeah, just do it. Okay, for right <laughs> just now. go do it. I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know if that's the idea. Okay. Speaking yeah. of the ideas, um, well, before we even move on to that, how do you feel? I feel amazing. Do you? I feel a lot better right now. Mm -hmm. And it's like one of those betters where you didn't know anything was wrong, but everything wasn't amazing. But now I feel amazing. Yeah, you know what I mean. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm sad and I'm depressed. <laughs> you know, how something's on your mind, and then, then you maybe you have a conversation with somebody, or something happens, and you feel better. But it wasn't that something was going on. Mm -hmm. It was just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just out here. Mm -hmm. But actually, I feel really, really good. You know what? And I want you guys to take away from this. One of the reasons why you feel so good is not that it's not even that you just got stuff off your chest. You did. 
but now you have an action step to follow up. Like you've got a project to work on. And so when you guys find that you're having conversations and you're still feeling as bad, like maybe attach an action to it. Maybe attach an action to it. Just like I did when I was going through my funk and I would written out this list and I go and put an action to it. Now you have a major project to work on and it's going to take you a while. And the experience and the emotions that you're going to feel, the happiness, the laughing you're going to do now, because you know why mm-hmm. you're work, you're not just looking at pictures. Yep. You know why you're looking at these pictures. Yep. Maybe this could be like a family event. Like me, Dre, we sit down, Corey, she got her own phone. We just start gathering all of these yes. pictures that we want in this. The, the photo album is going to be huge. Cause you know, we just got access to more pictures now, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. 